That's Jamie Lannister. The Queen's twin brother. What if John Aaron told someone? But who would he tell? My husband. Ooh, if he told the king, both our heads would be skewered in the city gates by now. Stop! Stop! <gasps> Are you completely mad? He saw us. It's all right. It's all right. It's all right. He saw us. I heard you the first time. Quite the little climb, aren't you? How old are you, boy? Ten. Ten. Calm down. He's a child. Ten years old. What were you thinking? I was thinking of us. You're a bit late to start complaining about it now. What has the boy told him? Nothing. He said nothing. He remembers nothing. Then what are you raving about? If it comes back to him. He tells his father what he saw. We'll say he was lying. We'll say he was dreaming. We'll say whatever we like. I think we can outfox a ten-year-old. And my husband. I'll go to war with him. Things I do for love. Let me go. Let me go. The boy won't talk. And if he does, I'll kill him. Him, Ned Stark, the king, the whole bloody lot of them until you and I are the only people left in this world. And so he spoke. And so he spoke. What's the line? The king shits and the hand wipes. They can write a ballad about us. The wolf says he's cunt. <coughs> I don't fight in tournaments. No? Getting a little old for it. <sighs> Lady Stark, I love you my sword, but I seem to have lost it. It is not your sword I want. The beam within the woman but Cersei. So in my own way, I have more honor than poor old dead Ned. And Robert was using you hand of the king, someone to do his job while he's up fucking balls and hunting whores. Or is it the other way around? Now the Starks are feasting us at sundown. Don't leave me alone with these people. I'm sorry. I've begun the feast of the dead. Is that a woman? A childhood must have been awful for you. Were you a foot taller than all the boys? They laughed at you, called you names. Some boys like a challenge. One of you must have tried to get inside. Big Brienne. One or two tries. Ah. You fought them off. Maybe you wished one of them could overpower you, fling you down, tear off your clothes. But none of them were strong enough. I'm strong enough. Not interested. Of course you are. You'd love to know what it feels like to be a woman. I've lost them too, I'm afraid. Well, old Lord Carstar doesn't seem to like the glorious work of the Northern Freedom Fighters. Must make you proud to serve the Stark. I don't serve the Starks. So many vows. They make you swear and swear. Defend the king, obey the king, obey your father. Protect the innocent, defend the weak. And what if your father despises the king? What if the king massacres the innocent? It's too much. No matter what you do, you're forsaking one vow or another. Yeah, this should help you remember. <laughs> Forgotten savages. Forgotten savages.